Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about a problem I'm having. I don't really, excuse me, let me readjust this thing. I don't really discuss a lot of my personal life here. I just, you know, tad bits here and there. But a couple years ago, I herniated L4 and L5 in my back. In case you don't know, those are discs in uh, the lumbar region, hence the L. And then you have like I think five discs there. One, two, three, four, five. So four and five got herniated, which means it, imagine an ice cream sandwich that's kind of melted and you're pushing it together, squeezes the disc out and kind of bulges it a little. Uh, they started me on opioid treatment, and uh, which is basically like oxycontin, oxycodone, Percocet, Percodan, Lorset, Lortab, Vic. Well, I think I already said that. You know, um, I even went to Dilaudid, Fentanyl. Um, several, several things, and I, I'm just, I'm having a really hard time right now trying to get off of this shit, because, you know, it's, it's a necessity for me, because, like, nothing else works, they give me this naproxen crap, which is basically just a leave over the counter, and, I mean, I don't, I don't abuse the drug, but I think I need it to, to take the level of pain away. You because know, in the bone structure, you know, the opiates and the opioids are the best thing to, you know, target your spine itself. You know, all this other stuff, you know, these anti-inflammatories, just not doing the trick. But, you know, it's, I, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about it, because if you can avoid it, I suggest that you totally do avoid it. Opioid treatment, it would be Vicodin, Percocet, they'll probably start you off with, and then they'll send you to a pain management doctor, and he'll suggest some kind of ludicrous surgery, or whatever, and he'll get you all doped up on, uh, ooh, smoky, get you all doped up on those pain medicines, and when you run out, because sometimes it takes a little bit more than was prescribed, you know, sometimes you have to take two, or whatever, uh, I'm gonna give you 60 tablets. I got six. I get 60 20 milligram oxycodones a month. Now, when I run out, my body just rejects everything. I can't. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I get uber depressed. Uh, I just feel like worthless, and I and and the pain gets worse. Cause I think a person that uh, a person that has pain and just deals with it on their own um, they can deal with it a little bit better but uh you know for me i've I've been on these opioids these opiates these narcotic painkillers so when I don't have it and I've tried to step off of it you know I go to a lower level medication it's not going to do the trick anymore so I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place um, they have this medicine uh, for me called clonidin. It's really, really good for opiate withdrawal. It gets you past the the cold sweats and the uh, you know just make you feel like you want to rip your hair out. Um, I'm not out right now. In fact, I'm I'm on it right now. And I'm I feel fine and my back is you know in pretty good shape. Um, but it's like one of the most hardest things. I mean, I also take, I mean, these doctors have got me so doped up on everything, man. I mean, you know, those, I don't know if you can see it, those are two milligram Xanax at bars. I take three of those a day. And, uh, all these addictions. I mean, I wake up, first thing I gotta do, I gotta grab one of these Xanax bars here. I gotta grab the Oxycontin. I gotta grab this fucking cigarette right here. And, and if you forget something, you're in trouble, Mister, because you're not gonna remember what in the hell you're missing. You know, you just chain smoke because you're missing something else. But I wanted to know, you know, with the with the with the tags I put in here, I should get quite a amount of views and I'm hoping that somebody has uh, gone through this and watched it and maybe is searching for it through here and will find me and help me 
you know, if you've been on it and you've gotten off of it, or maybe if you found other uh, things to work, like, uh, they, they're uh, talking about uh, performing Eastern medicine on me, which would be like uh, acupuncture, uh, just massages, you know, things like that. Um, I'm not, I'm not against the idea, but uh, here I am with a back where, you know, I can, I can barely sit, you know, for a long period of time, or even lay, I have to, I have to rotate, sit, stand, lay, sit, stand, lay. You get the picture, but I mean, have you or anyone you've known ever ever been in this situation and overcome it? And and how did they do it? I mean, because you need something to re alleviate the pain, but when you run out, like I said, my body rejects everything. I just uh, I can't eat. I can't sleep. I don't feel like doing anything. My motivation level goes down to crap, and. Uh, I don't know, I just don't like that feeling. It's it's a horrible feeling. And you feel like your insides are, you know, like your skin is crawling. But, I've been on opioid treatment for about four years now. It's kind of, he's already told me it's going to be really hard for me to get off of it because of the level of medication I take. So, because, you know, because I take 45 milligrams of oxygen. No. That was what I was on. Now I'm on 60 milligrams of oxycodone a day. So that's like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 Percocets. You know, more, more people are familiar with Percocet. So it's like taking 12 Percocets a day. And that's the only way I'm functional. I mean, you know, like I said, have you, anybody you've known, ever been in that situation? Are you a doctor? Are you a nurse? Are you watching? Can you respond, please? video response, comment, email me, I don't care, I just need some advice, you know, stuff is getting on my nerves, to run out and you know, have to go through all of that crap again, it's just, and more times than not I run out, because, you know, he'll write, uh, like 60, uh, 20 milligram oxycodones, and then, 40, uh, lower tab 10s, you know, there's a variation in between, uh, he says it helps, I don't know, hydrocodone makes me itch, but no, um, it's getting bad, man, it's getting really bad, and it's just like, it's legal, it's legal heroin is what it is, it's a, it's a pharmaceutical freaking heroin, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm not saying that, the, you know, I'm not one of those people like, oh, these drugs need to pull off the market. No, no, no. I mean, it's good for acute situations, but for this chronic pain, I think I need to try something else. And I, I need your advice. Um, because I, I, I just don't know what to do anymore. But, um, if you've gone through it, or you know anybody, talk to them about it. See what, see what their input is on it. You know, show them this video. I'm getting desperate. I'm about to put myself in detox. But then if I put myself in detox, I'm not going to be able to get the medications again, and I'm going to be in severe pain. So, you see what I'm saying? It's a love-hate relationship. And, I don't know, I just don't like it. Just don't like it. But anyway... I just wanted to babble a little bit and see if anybody had some advice for me or could comfort me in some way or if you're a medical professional, like I said, or you've had somebody. And I'm rambling, you know, because I'm, I'm on these painkillers now because so I'm a little bit oozy. I mean, da -da. But, um, anyway, yeah, just let me know and uh, get back with me. I'd appreciate it, guys. And uh, love, peace, and chicken grease.